right, you're here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, home of the Reds since 2003. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here, and on the hill, Graham Ashcraft. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. To first, yeah. that takes care of Rendon. Batting second. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And now batting, Mike Trout. Big-time power. Swing and a miss. And yeah, the count one and two. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone. Swings here and blasts one left field. And that one hops the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. The relay throw. Safe at second. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed hey. with extra bases. And there's a strike. Oh, well, a really good chance right here to pick up a run in the top of the first after what seemed to be a, a real quiet start to the inning. The 3-2 oh, wow. is Take off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. The second so first and second with two outs. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. The pitch. Right side. Thompson under this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Back here in Cincinnati. And today's starting pitcher, Patrick Sandoval. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. Jonathan Indy at the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. To the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So... You know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. 2-1 pitches in there, and the count is even. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. 
Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Top of the second. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Number 16, Mickey Moniak. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Digging in, Luis Rangifo. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it gets by him. Man at first with one gone, and now the catcher comes up to him. Logan Ohapi. And he deals. Check swing, no appeal. And now three and one. Here comes a pitch. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss struck him out. And next for the Angels, number 18. Left hand hitter waits. Runner on the goal. The 1 1 is fouled off. The 1 2. That's the third. On to first. And that will end the inning. Angels leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Now batting Jamer Candelario. The third baseman. The line of the pitch. Candelario. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Christian Encarnacion. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. On the ground, out to short. Whips it to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Eli that De La Cruz it. now That's at the plate. Eli. Second inning here, no score. Oh. Out to short, Rangifo. In plenty of time to first. That's the third out, inning over. Nobody left for Cincinnati. We'll move to the third. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Anthony Rendon. And the one-two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now one away. Here's Mike Trout, struck out swinging his first time. Top of the third, no score. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's Miguel Sano. He reached out a walk his first time. The two on. Comes up empty. That's strike two. <laughs> Got him. Third out. Angels strand one. Still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. Next pitch is outside. And that one is lifted in the air. Trout on his horse. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Stevenson into second, and he's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The one, two. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Thompson, the next to hit for the Reds. The 1 1. Line drive, and it stays fair. Here comes Stevenson around third. He'll score easily, and it's 1 0. Comes through with the RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's the DH. Jonathan India kicks and deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter is capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. And now Spencer Steer. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Grounder might be two. Slings to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Run scoring double here for the Reds. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back here at Great American Ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Brandon Drury. Jack Swing went around, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Got it by him for the K. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. But why to kick the pitch? And there's That's a ball. Two balls, one strike. And downstairs. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And the pitch. Hey. There's the strike. Three ball. Two strike. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Bang! 
swings off the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. But a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Stepping in, Luis Rangifo. Moniak over at second, one down. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel. And got him. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Reds one and the Angels nothing. Bottom of the inning and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stuart Fairchild. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one misses, and now three and one. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now snap throw to first. Fairchild gets back easily. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. And that might be the case today. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. The 3-1. Line drive, caught. Throw to second, and they got him. Double play. Next for Cincinnati, Eli De La Cruz. 0 for 1 so far. Next offering is in for a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Cap dances out of the way of that one. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch, it's not going to rattle your cage too much. Ball to strike. Oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Out towards left center. Ward sizing it up. Pulls it in on the run. And the inning is over. Two left on. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Reds one and the Angels nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And now number 18. Line, and that's a base hit. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Well, that was an important at-bat oh, in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Fairchild brings it in, and there's one down. The center fielder, number 27. Here's Trout, this guy with light tower power. Yeah. 
That one misses. And it's two and one. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Nick Martinez getting ready to go. Suter warming up as well. One out and a runner at second. The next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. Taylor Ward up next for the Angels. And the righty deals. And that's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Two on, one out. That one misses. Two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That misses the zone, and now three and two. Miguel Sano on deck for the Angels. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. High in the air, out to right. Thompson under it. Makes the catch. And there's two down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky and stay in the ballpark. Now it's the DH for the Angels. Miguel Sano. A strikeout and a walk. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Thompson squeezes it. That is the inning. Angels strand a couple and it remains 1-0. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. The pitch. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Next one in the dirt. And another ball. Three two now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Trout makes the grab on the run. Now batter. Number 12. Thompson digs in now. Doubled in his first A B. The one one. And that's in for a strike. Just that's missed. Like it's a good take. That one the other way. Fires over to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this no one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the Nothing shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first, and that'll do it. Reds leave one. They lead it 1-0. Back here in Cincinnati. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the corner. 
Two and two now. Movement in the bullpen. Emilio Pagan is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One out. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. Bounce to the right side, and he takes yeah. it himself yeah. for the out. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Here's a 1-1. That one ripped. Makes the catch inning over. Nothing doing here this half. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Reds 1 and the Angels nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Where we go bottom six. Here's a speed threat. Stuart Fairchild. Pitch misses, and a count two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him if he feels better about his off-speed secondaries. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And out of here. That one barely got out of here. And they add to the lead. It's 2-0. on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Carson Fulmer. Now just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Now the third baseman, Jamer Candelario. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Rolled over to third, Rendon. One away, bottom of the sixth. Christian Encarnacion, the next to hit for the Reds. The 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Now batting. Two That's outs, base is empty. Eli. Eli De La Cruz, De La Cruz. the next to hit for the Reds. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right side. He takes it on his own. Play made, that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And it's two zip. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Emilio Pagan. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Next offering is foul back. You know, these Angels, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. One misses, 
So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. And next for L.A., number 18. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Right-hander kicks deals. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating... Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. And a foul ball. Mohapi gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Not a bad pitch by any means. Down and away, right on the corner of the zone. Just a better swing, big. Stayed through it and hit it hard the other way. New pitcher for the Reds, Nick Martinez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. 1-1 one, one now. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. One out, runners at first and second. That misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. Taylor Ward waits on deck. That sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Grounded to third. Could be two. To second, there's one double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Adam Simber. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Next pitch misses inside. Full count now. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Simber is ready. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Action in the pen down there. Jose Cisnero up and loosening in the pen. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Ward going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now that number 12. So digging in, Thompson. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there. Two balls, one straight. Stevenson leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss. And the count is even, two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And the right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Two out. 
Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. On a line, base hit, and that's going to get into the corner. Stevenson around second. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Hit weakly on the ground, and that is that. Red strand a couple, but they're on top 2 nothing. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Miguel Sano. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Alexis Diaz loosening up for manager David Bell. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now on the bump, Lucas Sims. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Brandon Drury to the plate. And a 1-1. And a foul ball. The next offering misses, and the count's even at two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. And that's yeah. down and away. Three two now gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. That one hit to right. Thompson snags it for the second out. The right fielder, number two 16, outs, base is empty. Mickey, Mickey Moniak, Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. Left hand batter waits. And now one and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. there as he gets a one two three and the angels are gone in order they trail things here to nothing Luis Garcia gets handed the rock out of the pen and this guy can bring it velocity wise and ready to hit now for Cincinnati Stuart Fairchild the pitch struck him out without a swing couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees and now it's switch hitting third baseman Jamer Candelario. Here's a 1 1. And a swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. And one, two, three go the Reds. But they hold the 2 nothing lead. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Alexis Diaz. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Next one misses, two and one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. The pitch. No. Good eye in that spot. Three balls. Two straight. Up the middle, De La Cruz on the run, sends it over to first. One up, one down. The catcher, number 14. And Logan. here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Oh, and now it's okay. filled up. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Next to hit, number 18. Two now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. What a low scoring ball game in this one. Two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds two runs seven hits no errors they left seven men on base for the Angels no runs six hits no errors they left ten men on base time of the ball game two hours and 30 minutes thank you for joining us here tonight and we remind you to please drive home safely